as a senior in high school in 1970 of October was the month. Um, I enlisted in the delay entry program for the Air Force and left two days af after graduating high school in June of 71. Uh, in October of 1983, while um, in the ministry full-time in Grants, New Mexico, the theme, Be All You Can Be, came on the radio, and I thought, this is a way that I can go back in the military after a nine-year break, finish uh, uh, Bible college for ministry, and um, it's just been one of those things that uh, I enjoyed what I did uh, within the Army. I saw the difference between the draftees and the volunteers, uh, the draftees um, were, their mindset was they did not have a choice, whereas with the volunteers, they had a choice to come in and, and to expound upon their training that maybe they had through uh, either one or two years of college before coming in, um, or that they had completed college, uh, but they wanted to go ahead and, and they may, even in their career field, that they had went to school for may not be an opening. So this is another way of them coming in and paying their college loan back. And, and the different attitude was uh, those who did not have a choice versus those who did. The mood of the nation uh, after the draft was gone was then if those who wanted to go in the military, uh, they had the right to do so, but it wasn't that they had to. And I believe that, that American public um, responded uh, favorably in that action. And, and um, when you, you look at an age of 30, um, coming back in after a nine-year break, um, being prior service gave me the, the uh, knowledge of what to expect. Uh, even though my drill sergeant was uh, age 26 and I was 30, uh, my respect for him, he's a drill sergeant, and I'm the private, the trainee. But um, I still had that mutual respect as being a, an adult older than him or her. And uh, I picked up the nickname of Grandpa uh, during my eight weeks at Fort Dix, New Jersey, and had, a, had an opportunity um, through that eight weeks also to be a mentor toward other young men that um, were having a hard time adapting to military service. And uh, so I had respect from the cadre there of um, being called upon to uh, also help them out side by side. Being, um, again, going in the military at age 30, finishing Bible college where I thought, okay, I'm, I'm done December of 86, due to get back out. And, um, but I had told my wife in June of 86 that if I was to make my next rank, I would stay three more years not knowing that I'd be looking at 30 years down the road, uh, almost, um, of being a part of the Army and having a mission field. Because uh, even in this building right here, it's opened up avenues of people being able to come to my office and having that freedom to sit down and just share about life and what they're going through other than just work-related uh, situations. Looking back on it now, uh, the all-volunteer force um, really uh, was probably one of the greatest things that our nation could have done because it does give the men and women a choice um, looking toward the future. It gives them five military branches to look at, not just one particular one. Um, and so there are so many aspects of uh, e even families that are very close to uh, my wife and I that to this day uh, still call me up knowing where I work and ask questions about either their um, nephew or niece or grandchild of looking toward the Army. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it, it's one of those things um, that it, it really gives the opportunity for the young people to look at um, if they're just not college bound.